of interplanetary craft Calling occupants of interplanetary most extraordinary craft starting a new game, uh, Star Trek Online. It's a massively multiplayer online role-playing game where I'm going to be playing uh, this guy you see right here in front of you, Krylar Patan Jelos, who's a Bajoran uh, Starfleet cadet um, coming out of uh, the religious caste of the Bajoran society. And, uh, well, I'm, I'm new to this game. I have been playing a lot of Skyrim, so I'm kind of have played that to death, and I decided I'd play around with uh, something new to keep myself entertained. So I'm just starting this uh, game for the first time here. I'm going to go through a tutorial mission today that'll help me sort of introduce the character and figure out how the whole game works. So I'm going to jump right in, and we're going to get the introduction to the game. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. Twenty-one years ago, the star of the Hova system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. Well, there you have it. So starting out as a Bajoran character here, just about to graduate from uh, cadet school at Starfleet here. Uh, it's graduation day, I'm going to be embarking on a training cruise where our ship is going to be manned by cadets like myself as I learn the basic controls here. Um, but trying to connect this with Star Trek canon a little bit, this game is said to be sort of soft canon. I'm just thinking of myself as a, as a Bajoran member was trying to join Starfleet as partly as a gesture on behalf of the Bajorans who are, in my mind, they're still trying to um, apply to be a, a member of society of the Federation. So this is kind of a gesture to send cadets like me to join Starfleet. Um, just saw in the little intro video that the Dominion is sort of gathering their forces again. As a Bajoran, that's of concern to me. Star Trek Deep Space Nine, you know that the Bajorans suffered greatly at the hands of the Cardassians and then also the Dominion forces. So I'm sort of concerned with that more so than the other things going on with the Klingons and the Romulans and the Borg. I'm sure we'll run into those guys, but I 
initial character's motivation. I'm uh, trying to get into the trying to get the Pajorans into the Federation as some measure of protection against uh, more occupations and, and, uh, and atrocities and things at the hands of the Cardassians, and also some protection from the Dominion. So that's sort of my character's motivation to start with. Let's jump in and see what happens here on graduation day. Okay. There's a on this uh, woman over here. I guess I should go talk to her. The left Explorers. stick controls your player movement. The right stick controls your camera. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. Press A to talk with them. Good morning, Lisa. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. <laughs> How could I? You've reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your assignment? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the astrometrics final. All right, let me go talk to him. Just see if I can adjust some of the volume settings for you a little bit. I'm going to lower the sound effects volume a bit. I don't know how loud the music is going to sound on your YouTube videos here. Take everything down a few notches, except for maybe the voices. Alright, let's go talk to Cadet Reski. What's up, my man? There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. Uh -huh. What ship did you get? It's nice of you to say, but I haven't received my assignment yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farron, get your assignment. You should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. All right, thanks. On to the next character. Tavral, how's it going? Greetings. Rasky said you had something to tell me. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now yeah. I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. I knew you had it in you, Tavrell. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. Your mini-map shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the mini-map if you are far away from your objective. Okay, follow my mini-map. I gotta find... Alright. I see an arrow on my mini-map for... I have a pretty little uh, area here. Looks like I'm on Earth. What is that? The Good Bridge? Ah, there's Morik. Beautiful little pond here. Go in the water. Sure can. My shoe's too wet. Get up, Morik! What's up? There you are! Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training crews, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. I'm excited. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Ah, all right, thanks.
Lieutenant. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? Oh, you're like a cat person. Uh, is this where I get my training crews assignment? Yes. I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Prylar Petum Jellos. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. Interesting. Is there a problem? You're going to have to ask him. I see. All right, thank you, Lieutenant. Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. Press A to interact with the doorbell to notify Captain Taggart of your presence. Oh, that's the glow. It's that kind of golden shimmery stuff. All right, let's ring the doorbell. Hello, Captain Taggart. Come. Captain. What can I do for you? Cadet. You asked to see me, sir? I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy, and I must say, I'm impressed. Thank you, Captain. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. I'm not a tactical officer, sir. I concentrated on courses for my career track in science and medicine. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program. And I want to see good results. No exceptions. Did you say senior staff? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Your tactical officer, sir? Who's that? Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few... blemishes. Still... I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. Ah, Flores. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, Cadet. Yes, sir. Oh, exciting. So it looks like Flores is, uh, is my friend. Looks like a bunch of us cadets are friends. So, all right, so she's going to show me how to use phasers. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Back out to the quad. Jeez. Hey, Lisa. I got the tactical officer spot. Just what I wanted. Awesome. Where'd you end up? Well, Captain Taggart says he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass advanced phaser training first. You never did that? I no. thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Yeah. Now you tell me. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Ooh, the holodeck. Okay, lead the way. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Cool, keeping the crew together. Alright, you know where we're going? I'm just gonna follow you. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. No, I haven't seen them either. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. To sprint, press and hold the left stick Last while moving. one of the console buys the first round tonight. Ooh, I don't want to buy the first round. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Whew. Hate it. I guess you win. I'll buy the first round tonight. Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky Holodeck. Alright, do you have any advice for me? I want to pass this. Shoot stuff, don't die. Pretty basic, really. <laughs> Alright, uh, what kind of tactics can I expect? It's standard stuff. The program runs a variation on Mako Assault Training. Alright, I'll need a phaser, I suppose. Phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Cool, let's go. Press left to scan the area. Your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. There you go. Tricorder! Oh, cool. Points me where I gotta go. Right. Located weapons lockers. 
Let's check this place. Class of 2409. Okay, now we have a time stamp. Now we're in 2409 is where our story is going to take place. Or when our story is going to take place, I should say. Starfleet Academy, ex Astris Scientia, San Francisco. Oh, so that was a Golden Gate Bridge. Hey, this place is cool. Okay, into the uh, suites. There's some more glowy stuff. Let's be my locker. All right, laser pistol out of here. The pistol has been automatically equipped. Okay. Right trigger, it says. Deck two, it says. Okay. There we go. Follow deck two, straight ahead. All right, time for my phaser training. To the center of the room. All right, Patan, you can do this. Computer, begin program. Whoa. All right. Oh, I'm in a Klingon ship. Okay. Move on to the Klingon bridge. Press the right trigger to fire your weapon in combat. Klingons. Laser out. Have it. Ah, right, take that, you fiend! Ah, nothing to it. Just more to shoot. It does some sort of auto-targeting on the other bit. There you go. Can't hide from me. More blast. I think I've got him. While in combat, certain right. actions are disabled. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Looks like, uh, hopefully I passed the test. I did not get shot myself. And I took out four Klingons. Alright. Computer, end program. Hold Y to holster and draw your weapon. Captain Taggart, did you see? How did I do? Well done, cadets. You're not going to break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Thank you, Captain. Now, do you have an assignment for me? Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations. First officer, sir? Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Woohoo! Thank you, sir. It will be an honor serving with you. <laughs> Did you hear that, Elisa? First officer, way to go! Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. That's right. What can I say? The captain sees the greatness in me. Don't let it go to your head, buddy. <laughs> oh, I won't. You'll do great. But we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Maybe you don't have to tell me twice. Let's go. All right. Ceremonial send-off toast. Now here's this. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. We're gonna get all liquored up and then fly a spaceship. I'm sure that is according to Federation Pro. We'll lift. Take us to the shuttle bay. Okay. All of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. 
Oh, yeah. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. Sounds good. First round's on me. And here it is. Shuttle A. Connect the parts for our inaugural mission. Graduating cadets. Members loitering around, enjoying the celebration with our new crop of fresh faced graduates. Hey, there's my friends. Hey, guys, how's it going? Listen, I'm going to be your new first officer. Uh, let me lead a toast. May I have everyone's attention? We are the senior staff of the USS Dovahkiin. Each and every one of us has trained for the task at hand, and we are ready. I look around this room, though, and I see fear and uncertainty in your eyes. That's only natural. Being responsible for so many lives is a heavy burden. But we will go forth boldly, like Starfleet has trained us, putting to use everything we've learned here. To Starfleet Academy! To the USS Dovahkiin. To her crew. All cadets, please board your shuttles. <sighs> Whew, that burn's going down. All right. Well, let's do it, guys. Let's start our first mission. How do you feel, Tabrell? Okay, she's going to be the communications officer. Let's just check in with all these guys. Razki, how are you doing? Oh, you're not going to chat with me. You I can chat with. That Zarva! Good job. Very well, I'll see you all on the Dovahkiin. Looks like it's time to board our shuttles anyway. Alright. Say goodbye to Starfleet Academy here. Looks like this is my shuttle. Tech officer. First officer, Patan Jellos, reporting for duty. Are you ready to head to the ship? Yes, sir. Let's go. Catch you on the flip side. Oh yeah, flying through space. I can't believe we're finally doing this. I know, right? Oh, look at that. The USS Bell, first of her class. She's got sing a 50. Auxiliary phaser cannons and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She's a tough little ship though. I think I like her. <laughs> Me too. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. Let's do it, Flores. All right. That's our first ship. What do you think, Flores? I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Sounds good. All right, this is it. The shuttle bay on my new ship. The Dovahkiin. This is quite a large shuttle bay. Staff members working here, crew members. Technicians. Oh no, he's saying holodecks are off limits to the cadets. Some ensign, some engineers over there. Let's see what we gotta do. I should probably check in with the lieutenant here. Lieutenant Brickers. Reporting for duty. 
Name and position? Cadet Prylar Patangelos, acting first officer. I have your record right here, sir. Welcome to the ship. Thank you. Where's the captain? Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. Sounds good. Thank you, Lieutenant. This, we got a Ferengi. We got some weird blue people with antenna. We got a purple guy. Some Vulcans. Way to crew. A reminder to all, all right. the now. Go see the captain. Check out. Turbo lift. Take me to the bridge, please. Alright, that was fast. I'm not kidding about it. Turbo lift. Ah, here it is. The bridge. Look at this place. Awesome. Wow. There's the captain. Captain Taggart. Good to see you, sir. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Number one? Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out, and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. Very well. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. Yes, sir. Flores, close the shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Travel, uh, get clearance from traffic control for the Dovahkiin to leave the gantry. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, Travel. Very good, number one. Now, Potter, uh, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. Uh, uh oh, disable the tractor moorings. Perhaps from this glowing instrument panel over here. All right, release tractor moorings. Captain, I think we're all set. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. I don't think I'm gonna tell my captain what to do just yet, as I'm a lowly cadet still until this mission is over. To sit, press A while targeting the chair you wish to sit in. Oh, cool. I get to sit in my number one chair, first officer's chair. All right, let's sit back and enjoy the ride. From dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. The Vulcan. Cool. Ooh, off to warp. Captain. I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the SS Breakeven. Our warp core is failing, and we are in need of assistance. Uh -oh. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room, prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Breakeven. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrao. Hmm. Number one, let's discuss the situation. Sir. Warp core problem? You heard the distress call, number one. What do you think we should do? Is this a test, sir? Part of the training crews? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. Right, but it seems strange that the transmission was audio only. A warp core emergency shouldn't really affect communication. Good. What do you advise? Mm. We need more information before we get in there. I recommend we scan for a while to see what the situation really is. We don't have that kind of time, number one. 
I suppose you're right, sir. But we should raise the shields. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. All right. Yes, sir. Take the turbo lift to the transporter dock. Turbo lift, go to transporter deck. Axons are blaring. What does that mean? Rack, the break even should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. Weird? Uh, I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. I'm trying to compensate. I think right. I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. <laughs> Beaming them over now. Uh oh. This Did you vessel say is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS Chart. Oh, Rack, come in. What happened? Rack? Stop! Security is reporting disruptor fire in the transporter room, and Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. Oh no, what can I do to help? You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself, and any security team members you find. What about the enemy ship, sir? We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Tag it out. Sir, yes, sir. Calling all security officers to me. First officer, Patangelos. Calling security officers. Cadets, you're with me. Come on, we're getting into this armory. Let me just uh, see if I can unlock it here. Alright, I got it. Grab some weapons, boys. We got some Klingons to repel. Put in here. You need to equip your phaser rifle. To do so, press the menu button and select the captain option under the ship and crew heading. Okay. Uh, right, ship and crew heading. Select the captain option. This is your character. Here you can see your equipped items and devices. So this is your character. Here you can see your equipped items and devices. Select any item slot for your captain and the equip window will show all available items that can be used in that slot. I see. All right, so I need this weapon slot. Select the item in the list you wish to equip. If you are in a map with bank access, you will be able to These access items from your rifle. bank. Other, you can also view your ship's equipment, as well as the equipment being used by your bridge officers. So we also have a small hypo that will heal me. That's good to know. I have a personal shield. That's pretty sweet. All right. All right. Let's repel some Klingons. Whip your rifle. Did that right. There's the rifle. Okay. All right. Oh, there they are. Take them out, boys. Ouch. An object has dropped for you. Move near the item and it will be automatically added to your inventory. Dropping. Oh, there's force fields that go on the right. That's good engineering right there. But we're gonna have to fix that giant gaping hole in our ship. I don't know. Um, Cadet, just stay there for a second. Guard this hallway. To see if there's a way around this force field in the area. Up on you, officer. Come out. Fire.
firing, cadet. Good work. You all right? Who's this guy? Oh no, Rack! Rack, buddy, are you still with me? Stabilizing. All right, you're gonna be okay, Rack. Still gotta repel. We got borders. It's at 71 percent. No more here in the transport. Now, cadet, keep an eye on the transport. Make sure my marking guns come in. Alright, made it to the other side of the breach. Turbo 
lift. Take me to the bridge. All right, Captain. Here. Oh, what's that? Oh, they're transporting away. Oh, guys, are you all right? Oh, jeez, who's that? Transmission from the Klingons. On screen. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS chart. You may Stop have it. forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of finding us or defeating us. Ooh. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Never surrender. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Captain? Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky! No, they've got it. It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Oh no, Captain Taggart. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders. Sir. Target lock, Captain. Uh, all right, fire. Signal. What now? I don't know. At least we're gonna have to discuss this for a second. We we survived, but the captain, oh. Captain Tiger, knew what happened, and he gave the order anyway. Ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might be called to make someday. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. And remember. You know what? You're right, Elisa. Let's do it. I'm gonna take the captain's chair. This now I'm in charge of the whole ship. Get to fly around the ship in space. Cool. All right, First Officer Torres, what do you got for me? All decks reporting in, sir. 
We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Yikes. Uh, communications officer Tivrell, send out a distress call immediately. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. Oh! Keep trying, Elisa. What's the status of the Klingon ship? She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Zarva, damage report. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. God, oh, uh, everything is messed up. What about the break-even? Uh, hail them, Tivrell. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. SS break-even. This is the Starfleet vessel USS Dovahkiin. What is your status? Oh, um, hello, Starfleet. No hard feelings, right? I had to send that distress signal. If I didn't, that crazy Klingon was going to blow my ship into space junk. He was just using these Ferengi as bait. And, um, because Starfleet's always ready to help and all, uh, could you help me repair my ship? Uh, I'm grateful for all you've done to save my ship and cargo already. But the sooner I can get out of here, the sooner I'll be safe from KDEC. I'll see what we can do. Press up to increase your ship speed. Press down to decrease your ship speed. Use the left stick to pitch downward or upward, as well as to turn left or right. Yeah, look at that. Uh, angle my ship around. All right, Flores, uh, take us over to the break-even at uh, full impulse. Full stop. Oh. I've stopped us this time, sir, but from now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. Fair enough. All right, I need to scan the break even. I need to scan. Scan the radar. There we go. Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Position yourself near the ship and press A to interact with it. Alright, uh, move us a little closer, Flores. Alright, that should be in transporter range. Uh, send over those uh, doodads. Thanks! We'd help you if we could, but I just don't see any profit in that, you know? <laughs> so predictable. Oh, and they just warped right out. Fleeing scene of the crime. Whereas, um, we helped the Frangi escape. What do we got going on now? Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Yeah, um, Zarva, do you have that damage report yet? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostics shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Uh-oh. Do you have replacements? Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. Oh, I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to warp. Uh, any ideas, Elisa? We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. Good idea. Do it. Alright, I have to scan these derelicts for parts. Look at this, we're just floating, floating around in a kind of junkyard along some kind of spaceway. Are we in an asteroid belt? Here's a giant asteroid floating right next to us. Right, scan the ship graveyard. Scan the area. Here we go. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. 
Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Sounds Press good. the right, right trigger to fire energy weapons. Trigger to fire energy weapons, okay. Let's do it. Let's get that thing from here. Warning. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item to automatically loot it. Taking through scraps we've left behind. Yeah, that guy's getting annoying. You are not wrong. All right, let's move at uh, full impulse and go pick up those gizmos. It's our ship. On the way, target the next piece of debris and blast that. All right, nice job, Flores. And the last one. Plasma injectors will do the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter float put with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil. Ah, uh, that sounds good. But just remember, the Klingon who wants us dead, uh, I need you to work fast. You have your problems, I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level one diagnostic. <laughs> we don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp one. All right as fast as you can. Flores, status report? Zarva's dealing with the warp corp, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battlecruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Ah, well, that's a happy thought. Any chance we can determine what's jamming communications in this system? Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tavrell has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what ah. blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Sounds good. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack. Use your plasma beam to weaken shielded targets. Full stop. All right. Where are the shielded targets? Like me. Right. Bring us about. Use your torpedoes on an enemy when their shield is down. There they are. Aha! Klingon jamming satellites. Take those right out. One of them is in range from the current position. Lock onto it with faith. Fire when ready, Flores. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shield has failed. Alright, fire photon torpedo. Gotcha. Alright, two more jamming satellites. Nice shot. Two more jamming satellites left. Move us forward on impulse. 50%. Nice and easy. As soon as they're in range, lock on with phasers and fire. We can get a message out to Starfleet and hopefully get some back. Alright, Flores, ready. Aim. Fire. I haven't forgotten! 
talking about you. Think shit. Can take a couple more hits. Whoa. Lost the full impulse power. We're under attack. They've Long decloaked. range communications like are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? Yes. Of course, send the distress signal. Questions. That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. Ah, huh, the old leaking plasma trick to track a cloaked ship. We'll do it. We gotta find him before he ambushes us again like Understood. that. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it. I can trace the plasma signature right to the source. Finally. All right, we have an advantage. I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. Make it so. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. I can make Good. your death swift. Hold up on the D-pad to activate and deactivate full impulse. Wait, we don't... They're heading... I don't see them anywhere. Somehow straight ahead-ish. Somehow down this direction. Alright, give us full impulse speed. There we go. Okay. Good. Gasoline. What powers are impulse engines? Alright. Multiple birds of prey. Multiple? Incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. On screen, Tabrell. This is Captain Volok of the USS Renown. Do you require assistance? Yes, sir. We were ambushed by Klingon marauders. A Klingon captain would have to be very bold to travel this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Tackert? He was captured and taken to the Klingon ship. They killed him after he ordered us to fire on his position. And did you follow his orders? Well, yes, sir. So, I take it you are in command now? Yes, sir, I am. Very well. We will escort your ship to Earth Space Dock. What about the Klingon who killed Captain Taggart, sir? Kadek is still out there. And if he reveals his position, he will be dealt with accordingly. Until then, you are to set a course for our position. 
Renown out. Yes, sir. Whew. All right, we got a rendezvous with the Renown. Take us there as fast as possible, Flores. Full impulse. And it looks like we're about to be wrapping up first our training mission, our cadet training cruise. It's a big rendezvous with Renown. Back again. Ooh, those Klingons. Oh, oh go Captain Bear for his life before I killed him. Uh, lock on if you can, Flores. Open fire. Fire to the Target shield, Captain Bear. Fire. Accepting danger is part of being a Starfleet officer. You have learned this lesson well. I'm tired of this! It's time to finish this fight! Oh, Captain Bear! 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 The Renowned will escort you back to Earth's space dock. But first we must inform the USS Kittimer that... One moment. My communications officer informs me that we are unable to contact the Kittimer. We will proceed to their coordinates to determine if they require assistance, and your ship will accompany us. I hereby grant you a field promotion. This will oh. give you the proper authority over your crew, and final decision-making ability for your ship until we reach Earth space dock and report to Admiral Quinn. I understand, sir. Whew, all right. Looks like now we finally finish the training mission. Looks like I got some experience points and other rewards. That's a pretty good sign that we're finally done with that sort of little mini boss battle with the uh, Klingon pirates. So I guess we're going to wrap up this first episode of my new Let's Play series. And I uh, hope you tune in next time and follow the further adventures of uh, now field promoted Captain Tan Jelos, the Majoran Starfleet officer. Sir Zarba reporting for duty. She seems pretty good. Right, we're exiting to sector space. Thanks for watching, everybody. Toodaloo. Live long and prosper. Woo!